Hello, hello everyone, the other player back, and today I wanted to give you my opinion and thoughts slash class on the Call of 2, the new tactical rifle in Warzone and Black Ops. So we're going to be talking about it exclusively in Warzone, so if you want an opinion on it in Black Ops, you're going to have to go elsewhere. I can put up a video if you guys want, just let me know down below. But for now, let's talk about the Warzone. Number one, is it good? It's viable. It's not going to be meta. There are definitely things that will outclass it, but... It's definitely viable, you definitely can use it, and you can definitely do well with it. Um, I personally don't prefer it, it's not my style of gun. Um, I'm more of an AMAX kind of guy, and I'll get into that later, but first let me just give you the class, because I know a lot of people want that. I'm going to be running the Agency Silencer and the 22.3 inch Cavalry Lancer, as this gives the best bullet velocity, because you want to use this at a longer range. Now, this says vehicle damage, I know. It actually does bullet velocity, don't let that fool you. I'm gonna run the field agent foregrip to mitigate recoil. I'll talk to recoil about I'll talk about recoil a bit more later. And we're also gonna do the 54 round drum, just because it's war zone, you need that extra ammo. And I prefer the actual arms 3x sight, although I know many of you might want a 2x or a 4x, and whichever one you want is fine. In terms of the rest of the class, I'd recommend a short range SMG, short range to mid-range, sorry, because the Carve 2 can handle that mid-range really well. That's where it excels. Long range is where it kind of dips off a little bit, and short range it can do, depends, we'll once again talk about that later. So first I want to talk about the damage. The damage on this thing is weird, I find. Um, I often feel like I'm getting a ton of hit markers. It's really, I find it to be a bit inconsistent, that I might be missing my shots, I'm trying to make the transfer to PC, so that might just be a me thing. Um, I personally, well that's one of the reasons I'm not liking it so much is because of that inconsistency. However, if you do hit the head, or if you do land all three of your burst shots, then it's going to melt. Now, speaking of hitting all your shots, the recoil. The recoil is deceptively high. Make sure you keep that in mind if you use this gun. Um, the range on it, pretty good, I think. Um, the, the problem is though, because of the recoil and the, the way the gun is supposed to work, it's not supposed to be something you use to, like to counter a sniper. Um, I would say it's more like an auger and M16 in that you need to be within a certain range before it'll actually like get to its max killing potential. It's really designed as a mid-range gun. As some final thoughts, I think the Carve 2 is in a really good place. I actually, it's a really fun weapon to use I find, even if I don't personally think that I will get the most kills with it. It's just kind it's really fun to use. It's got that little shing at the end of each burst. It looks really comical just with its giant block like nature it's not bad so it's not like you won't be getting kills and i don't know it's just it's fun to use i definitely recommend you try it out at least for a little bit but if you're looking for something that's going to compete with the amax this just isn't it all right i hope you all enjoyed this quick video and if you have any thoughts on what weapons you want me to do next or what other kinds of videos you'd like me to do let me know down below see you all next time Bye bye